Welcome back to Witcher Math. Thanks for taking the time. Hopefully we can learn a little something about circles. In a previous video, I taught you how to make this uh, little smiley looking organizer that connects the two worlds of the circle. We've got diameter connects to circumference using pi and radius connects to area also using pi. And we jump back and forth between the two worlds with the number two. We either need two radiuses, two radii to make a diameter, or we're going to cut a diameter in half to get the radius. That's how we get back and forth between the two worlds. Okay, and here's how we're going to practice it. I got four practice problems. This is these are the only kind of problems you can have with circles. We've got four variables. I've got four problems. So why don't you go ahead and uh, copy these down? Your only job is to uh, take what I've given you and find all the missing pieces. Okay, in this one I gave you the radius, and this one I gave you the diameter, this one I gave you area, this one I gave you circumference. Okay, go ahead and see if you can make those connections that we made in the last video and come up with all the missing pieces. Go. All right, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and do these one at a time using the connections from the previous video. Okay, so first of all, I know I need to take a radius squared times pi to get the area. So I'm going to take 6 squared times pi, which is 36 times pi. Yep, that's me using a calculator. I'm rounding my answers, by the way, so please don't... Uh, yell at me if you're using decimals. Okay, there's the area. Got that. We got radius, we got area. Now I'm going to jump over to the diameter world. 2 times radius equals diameter, so diameter equals 12. And diameter times pi equals circumference. So 12 times pi is about 37.7. So there we have circumference, area, radius, diameter, all missing pieces. Next problem, circumference. We know we're going to use circumference to get into the diameter. So 62.8 divided by pi is about 20. In fact, I'm going to round it off to 20. That creates that completes that side of the world. Then we're going to use our uh, factor here, too, to connect into the radius world, which equals 10. And then we're going to square 10 and multiply it by pi to get into the area world, which is 100 times pi, which is 31.4, right, or 314. 314. So see on this one we made the connection. We started with circumference, worked backwards to get diameter, continued to work backwards to get radius, then we built it back up by squaring it, then built it up some more with pi. So we completed this entire chain here, going from circumference to area. Okay. Hey, since we just did that, let's skip down to this one. We're going to do the opposite thing, right? We're going to start with the area. We're going to divide it by pi, take the square root to find the radius. We're going to times 2 to get the diameter and times pi to get the circumference. They all go in order. Area divided by pi equals the radius squared. So 380 divided by pi. I'm going to say what I'm doing, and then I'm going to do it down here. So I'll have all the letters up here, all the numbers down here, just to show all these connections. Whoops. 380 divided by pi. Ah, I'm under pressure. I can't handle it. Divided by pi. There we go. 121. 
that's the radius squared, so I need to take the square root of 121 to get the radius, which is 11. All right, that's radius. Then I need to go times 2 to get the diameter. So we started with area, got to radius, got to diameter, and then we're going to go times pi. to get circumference, okay, ARDC. So we took radius times two, that gave us diameter. We took that times pi, got circumference. So we traveled all the way from area to circumference. Area, radius, diameter, circumference. Okay, hope you're following that chain. If that's moving too fast, go back to the organizer and check out the organizer. Finally, here we are. We've got the diameter. So we're going to go out here to circumference. Okay. That takes us all the way to the edge of that world. Now I've got to go divided by 2 to get the radius equals 8. Then, right, we're going to make a square. That's a radius square times pi. So it's going to be 64 times pi, which is about 201 for the area. All right. I hope you got those same answers. I hope these connections make sense to you and uh, that you... Uh, do a great job on any tests you have coming up. Remember the connections. Don't worry about memorizing formulas. Just know how things work. It's always better that way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.